And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. I'm often quite surprised by games in a negative way. I think, oh, this looks really good, and you play it, and you're like, nope, not good at all. Well, the, the, here the opposite is true. When a company sent me reverse charades, I looked at it and I thought, well, you know, charades is entertaining to some degree when you didn't know any other games existed in life or when you're stuck with a group and you have nothing else to do. You play charades or 20 questions. 20 questions, not charades, because there's a lot of reasons people don't like charades. They don't like to act out. They're embarrassed to be up there. So when I heard about reverse charades, and the idea of this is simple, is that one person is the guesser and the team acts out the thing. When I thought, oh, they're just changing a minor detail. That's not going to matter much. And everyone that I introduced the game to said the same thing. I'd say to a group, all right, we're going to play reverse charades. And there's audible groaning and people complaining and saying, oh, I don't like charades. But the flip side is this has been the most popular party game that I have introduced to people this year. It just has because it's so funny. It's so much fun to watch. And you know what? Before I explain why I like the game so much, let's take a look at it. You can see here that the rules for the game are really, really short. And in fact, they tell you, hey, do whatever you want, basically. But the way the game works is you split up into teams. You have a timer, a one-minute timer. One, person, one team goes up there, and then someone else from another team is going to show them a card, like this one here. And the team is acting it out for the one player on their team who didn't go up to the front. So let's say I'm on a team with Joe, Sam, and Bob. So Joe, Sam, and Bob, they go up and they have to act out the three little pigs without making any words. You know, your typical charade rules, but they're trying to get me to guess this. And so many of these, for example, like the three little pigs, they work really well when it comes to multiple groups. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things. Some of them, you know, like this one, jackpot, uh, or even Bob for apples, those can be done with just one person. But there are sometimes where having multiple people, for example, think about how multiple people with barbershop works really well, or huddle. I mean, that one really makes sense when being charaded by multiple people. So you have until this timer ends to guess as many as you can. And you keep going for a certain amount of rounds, and whoever gets the most is the winner. That is the entirety of the game. Reverse charades is absolutely a blast to play. Uh, I, I, it's going here in my party collection because it's one that people are going to have fun. Now, it works really well with large groups. And the thing is, I, 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 I figured it out after a while. People like reverse charades because most people, I shouldn't say most, but there's a lot of people who are embarrassed to do things like charades. They get up and they're shy. But when you're in a group setting, it's just a whole lot easier. You know, if you can help out, let's say they're doing barbershop, I can sit down in a chair and the other guy can cut my hair. And that's more fun. The group makes us stronger. But more than that, it's so much funny. <laughs> uh, watching uh, changing a diaper, delivering a baby... Uh, some of the things that can happen in this game are just wildly funny. Amazing. It, there's, it's, and everyone else just sitting there cracking up and laughing about it. There are some pop culture references throughout the game. I showed you Three Little Pigs. There's some other ones that some people may or may not know. In fact, I found that the, the game, the pop culture stuff in it, seemed to be more geared towards my age than it was towards kids. But for the most part, it's a lot of fun. It works really well with large groups. You can say, hey, we'll play reverse charades. And of all the groups I've played, I think I've probably played it eight times now or so, of all the groups I've played it with, every single one has been begging to do it again. It's noisy, it's raucous, but it is fun. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.